Hello friends, myself, Dr. V. N. Deshmukh, Associate Professor at Sudhakarao Naik Institute of Pharmacy, Pusad. Friends, today we will study amino acid biosynthesis. Amino acids are derived from the intermediates in glycolysis, citric acid cycle or pentose phosphate pathway. Ten of the amino acids have relatively a simple pathway compared to the other aromatic amino acids. Although many organisms can synthesize all 20 amino acids, mammals can synthesize only 10 amino acids. Those they can synthesize are called as the non-essential amino acids and those we are not synthesized, they are called as the essential amino acids. They have to depend on the plants for these amino acids. In this case of the biosynthesis of amino acid, nitrogen enters this pathway by the way of glutamate and glutamine. Organisms vary greatly in their ability to synthesize the 20 common amino acids. Most of the bacteria and plants can synthesize all these 20 amino acids. So, these amino acids, they act as a precursor for the biosynthesis of the secondary metabolites such as the alkylides and the other amino acids they get biosynthesized through this amino acid biosynthesis. So, in this case the component such as the alpha ketoglutarate which is formed during the process of amino acid it acts as a precursor for the biosynthesis of the glutamine, proline and arginine. Same way the oxaloacetate forms the aspartate, aspargine, methionine, threonine and lysines are the amino acids which are formed and they act as an precursor for the biosynthesis of other secondary metabolites. So, the amino acid biosynthesis it is used for the biosynthesis of the different amino acids from the pyruvate the biosynthesis of the alanine, cysteine, glycine, serine, Thionine and tryptophan get biosynthesized from the acetyl coenzyme A, isoleucine, leucine, and tryptophan get biosynthesized from the acetyl coenzyme A, the biosynthesis of the amino acid, the leucine, lysine, phenylalanine, tryptophan, and tyrosine takes place from the alpha ketoglutarate, the biosynthesis of the arginine, glutamate, glutamine, histidine and proline get biosynthesized. In case of the from oxaloacetate, the aspargine and aspartate are biosynthesized from the fumarate, aspartate, phenylalanine and tyrosine and from the succinyl coenzyme A, isoleucine, methionine, theo Thionine and the valinine are biosynthesized. So, in this case, in case of the amino acid biosynthesis, the glucose enters with the phosphoenol pyruvate and it forms the acetyl coenzyme A and enters into the TCA cycle where oxaloacetate it is the receiver and it forms the citrate, alpha ketoglutarate, succinyl coenzyme A, fumarate. So, in this way, the biosynthesis of the amino acid takes place in case of the plants and the ingredients or the components which are formed, they act as a precursor for the biosynthesis of the different secondary metabolites. So, in this you can see that the central glycolysis and the Krebs cycle or the TCA cycle, these are the central pathway. And the 
components which are formed during the process of glycolysis and the Krebs cycle they act as a precursor for biosynthesis of the amino acids. For example, the 6 phosphoglycerate, the biosynthesis of serine and glycine takes place from the serine, the biosynthesis of the cysteine takes place, then the py pyruvate which is the end product of the glycolysis, it acts as a precursor for the biosynthesis of the leucine and isoleucine and also for the valinin. Then in the pyruvate along forms the acetyl coenzyme A and it will enter into the Krebs cycle or it is also called as the citric acid cycle or it is also called as the TCA cycle. The alpha, -glut alpha ketoglutarate which is formed from it acts as a precursor for the biosynthesis of the glutamine and from glutamine the formation of the amino acid such a, from the glutamate formation of the amino acid such as the glutamine histidine then ornithine and the arginine get biosynthesized the proline will also get biosynthesized from the glutamate then the another components which is formed during the oxaloacetate it forms or it acts as a precursor for the biosynthesis of the aspartate and it will form the aspargine from the aspargine the biosynthesis of aspartate 4 semi aldehyde and from this the biosynthesis of homocerine that is theonine and isoleucine get biosynthesized again the biosynthesis of the methionine will get biosynthesized from the precursor that is the oxaloacetate again from the pyruvate biosynthesis of the alanine will take place then the phosphoenol pyruvate and the erythrose 4-phosphate enters into the cyclic acid pathway it will form the cosmic acid prephenic acid and anthranilic acid as we have studied in case of the cyclic acid pathway and from this anthranilic acid the biosynthesis of the tryptophan and from the prephenic acid biosynthesis of phenylalanine and tyrosine takes place so in this way in this way the different amino acids both essential and non essential amino acids get biosynthesized in the plants so the different amino acids get biosynthesized through the central pathway of the glycolysis and Krebs cycle. The components which are formed during the glycolysis and Krebs cycle, they act as a precursor for the biosynthesis of the different amino acids in case of the plants. So, the biosynthetic families that is the metabolic precursor and the amino acid which is formed for from the alpha ketoglutarate biosynthesis of the glutamate, glutamine, proline and arginine are biosynthesized from 3 phosphoglycerate the biosynthesis of the serine glycine and cysteine are biosynthesized then from the oxaloacetate from the oxaloacetate biosynthesis of the aspartate asparagine methionine threonine and lysine get biosynthesized from the pyruvate which acts as a precursor for the biosynthesis of alanine, valine, leucine and also the isoleucine, the pyruvate acts as a precursor. Then the phosphoenol pyruvate and erythrose 4-phosphate that is from the cyclic acid pathway, the biosynthesis of the amino acids such as the tryptophan, phenylalanine and the tyrosine will get biosynthesized from the ribose 5-phosphate it formation of the histidine will take place ribose 5-phosphate that is it will enter into the citric acid cycle and the ribose 4 the 5-phosphate forms the histidine so in this way the different amino acids get biosynthesized in the plants thank you very much